What up guys, welcome back to the garage, man. It's been a long two weeks and we have been busting our ass around this house to get it cleaned up, get it organized, get it more usable for making content. Anyhow, I figured I'd make a short clip before this video just letting you guys know that I did record the process of us kind of cleaning the place up. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you over the course of the next few days. But I hope you guys enjoy it. It feels really good to be back. I can't stand going that long without putting out videos for you guys. So please make sure you smash the like button, throw all your comments and stuff down in the comment section below. We gotta get the videos back up on the algorithm because if you guys don't know, it's kind Kind of suicide for a YouTube channel to go long periods without posting a video. So if I can, please get my DB fam to just, you know, over the course of this next week at least, make sure you're smashing the like button and throw comments down below. Even if you're commenting what state you're from, you know what I mean? Just throw some comments down there. We got to get back on the algorithm and get this ball rolling, you know what I'm saying? But I hope you guys enjoy the video. We are going to be getting you guys caught up over the course of the next few videos, like I said, and then we'll get back to making content on the cars as usual. Peace. first scrap load this is scrap metal so we're headed down to the junkyard um, I'm curious if we even got a hundred bucks back there we're headed down to the junk. I was recording my ice think we got a hundred bucks back there uh, no, I don't think so. we'll see we're gonna find out <laughs> I'll stand back in case he crushes a fucking compressor <laughs> Good lord, can I get one of those? Watch out, Braven. <laughs> oh, you got it so softly. I know. Yee! <laughs> that was sick. 20, 40, 60, 80. $86. $86. Shoot. What you know about that, bro? I don't know nothing we, about that. We eating good for lunch. Maybe we might be able to get ourselves some haircuts, man. You know oh, man. We might be able to get ourselves some haircuts yeah, around here. I'm going to look at my hair. We already know. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. What up guys? Currently on my little vacation that I'm taking. Well, vacation from making videos, though here I am. <laughs> I guess you could say vacation from editing videos. But anyhow, I found a grocery store giving away free plastic pallets. Go figure, what's up? <laughs> uh, anyhow, here's Braven's new pressure washer. Dude, this thing is a monster. It's literally double the size of my gas-powered pressure washer. Uh, 4,400 PSI, it moves like yeah, four gallons per minute. If you guys didn't know much about pressure washers, this is the biggest pressure washer that you are capable of running off of a garden hose. If you get any bigger than this, you have to actually run a water tank with a pump to move the water to it. So yeah, that's as big as you can get. Anyhow, I got rid of quite a bit of metal, 
stuff from the backyard yesterday. Got rid of that S10 frame. I feel like I might end up regretting it, but it is what it is. It has to go. We're gonna do a lot more today. Like a lot of like the little stuff. I feel like we got rid of most of the big items yesterday. All my old compressors, every one of those like had something stupid wrong with it. And I've always kept them thinking I'm gonna eventually fix them. I know I'm not going to, but I did keep this one. This one uh, was given to me from a subscriber and it just has the valve inside of here is just leaking so i'm gonna keep this one and actually fix it so i have a backup anyhow check this out bro this is a wooden storage shed i went braven and i went and picked this up from scottsdale yesterday is actually a 40 minute drive from the house it was completely assembled we had to go out there and actually take it apart in person in which the whole thing's put together with staples and nails so yeah but got it for really cheap bottom of it's a little beat up but that's all good i'm gonna we'll be able to fix it up we're gonna get this thing put together so we have somewhere to actually store all the parts and stuff that's all over the place, like inside of the garage. But yeah, the whole bottom of that was all rotten out, and that's what I got all those plastic pallets for because we're gonna use those as a base, and I'm gonna build a new bottom for that. But I also need to go pick up some two by four, and I need to go pick up some plywood to actually build it. That is what it is I'm going to do right now. Seven degrees out, partly cloudy, 50% chance of rain. Um, highest it's gonna get today is 97 degrees, but it still has a chance of rain. Damn, having some good weather here in Arizona. <laughs> some people are like, 97, that's miserable. We're here like, well, dude, it is freaking nice out. But yeah, we went out to, um, I want to say the middle of nowhere, but it really wasn't that far from the house to go grab some wood and stuff. Dude, got these are two by six by 10. Got them for five dollars a piece, bro. Found some lady selling them on a marketplace, and then got some. We got a bunch. We got other wood back there. I'll show you whenever we get to the house. All right, got four sheets of half inch. This is OSB that we're gonna be making the floor of the storage shed out of. And this is all two by six. Dude, I did the math. All of this right here at Home Depot would have been about $260. I paid 120 bucks for all of this. Budget shoppers, budget shopping. That's what I'm good at. So we tried to kind of separate the yard into sections to make it a little bit more bearable. So starting off this section over here, uh, this is where Venom was sitting, which Braven sold the suspension off the car. So it made it kind of hard to move. We had to find some suspension to get on it, to get it out of the way. Uh, it's got a lot of body parts and stuff that just kind of accumulated over here, as well as a bunch of rims and tires. Like a lot of tires that I didn't really want to throw away because they were still kind of good. But if you look at the date of them, um, and the fact that they're kind of dry rotting because they've been sitting out in the sun for a long time. I'm like, dude, I'm getting rid of all this shit. Tired of sitting on all this junk, you know what I mean? Uh, so just kind of going through it, seeing what it is I want to keep, what it is I want to get rid of. Um, there's an entire uh, uh, brake assembly there from that DA we scrapped a while back that I want to use on the EF. And then, yeah, just kind of sweeping it up, uh, raking it up. And then if you see over there on the, on the booth, we're going to get to it here in a second. Uh, that's part of the old tarp that used to go over the top that was just all shredded and torn up and just hanging there and just making it look like shit you know what i mean well we are cracking away on this backyard and we're kind of separating it into sections this was kind of our fo uh, focus point for today because this is where we're going to set up that storage shed at so got it all cleaned up got rid of all the wheels and tires that i no longer need you guys haven't ever seen this side of the house over here this side's always a freaking disaster area everything up here is basically going in almost everything up here is going in the trash but all the wheels that I want to keep are back here. So these are all the stocks for Max. I'm missing one. I don't know where it's at. Um, I have two of these. One of them's on Gotham right now, so I'm keeping those. These are all the stocks off of uh, Hannah's Audi. This is a full set of LS Meshies. This is a full set of LS Meshies. No, they're not for sale. And stock Steelies from a Civic. Uh, Junior's phone dials. And then these are three stock wheels from the Honda Odyssey. That's just what I'm gonna hang on to for now. Um, some of that stuff more than likely is gonna be thrown away as well, not the LS meshies. Anyhow, here goes the fun part. Time to set up the storage shed. Thank you. 
power, man. This thing is pretty damn sturdy. I ended up doubling it up. So I don't know if you guys can tell through the hyperlapse, but basically I have an entire sheet on this side, but this is the top layer. On the bottom layer, I have the entire sheet over to this corner. You know what I'm saying? So it's overlapping these seams. So uh, this is six foot by 10 foot. That's the size of the shed itself. So um, as you see, there's a little bit of an overlap with those plastic pallets. So I just kind of centered it so it's sticking out a little bit on the sides and in the front but it is starting to get late well i mean it's not really getting late but the sun's going down and it keeps sprinkling like it's going to start raining but uh we are going to go ahead and get these off of the trailer tonight because this stuff's really heavy bro i want to get cracking on the shed and get it up tomorrow morning so what we're going to do is get it off the trailer tonight and just stack it over there hopefully the wind doesn't blow it down but yeah that's my goal for tonight is to at least get it all off the trailer but while we're doing it, I gotta go and grab my grinder and some safety glasses. You guys see all these nails sticking out? I gotta go through and cut all the nails off the bottom. Cause when we were taking this thing apart, that was the easiest way was to just pry it all apart. But of course that left all the nails like sticking out. So I gotta go through and just zip, zip, zip and cut all those damn nails off, get them out of the way. So that whenever we go to mount it to the floor, um, we're able to just put new nails and yeah. Obviously those aren't gonna be able to be there or else we won't be able to set it down flush. But anyhow, yeah, we're gonna do that today. I'm not gonna record it, but we're gonna get all this off the trailer, get it over there, cut those nails, like I said. Another thing that we're gonna do tonight is load up all these tires and get rid of it. So all of this is trash. Uh, we're starting to make kind of like a metal pile over here. So all that metal and stuff is for another load to go to the dump but yeah that's my goal for tonight get all this off the trailer get rid of all the tires we should be doing pretty good get up in the morning and get this thing knocked out I decided to screw it, I'm sending it, dude. The freaking weather out here is just too good to not take advantage of it and get some work done. But got the back side of it all put up, coming back here. Hell yeah, pretty decent. But anyhow, this is uh, also an area where I'm gonna have to come through and cut all the nails off. And over here as well. See, I see there's, bam, bam. That, like I said, is from us taking it apart. Luckily, it was all nailed together. We didn't have to go searching for screws and pull them out. We're able to just kind of pry everything apart. So now I just cut it all off. Um, and then I'm gonna use screws to put it together because it's just easier that way. I think it's stronger too. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, I wanna go and put silicone all the way around the edge and then paint this floor on the inside before we go filling it up. Just to kind of seal it really well, I want this to be an area where we can put anything that we wanna put inside of here. We don't have to worry about the weather getting to it. So that's the plan. There it is, man. That's the new shed. It's not completely done, but it's it's basically pretty close to done. So this is going to give us a lot more space where we'll be able to actually store some things that we don't want, like all inside of the garage and shit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come in there. But yeah, it's a pretty solid ass shed, man. The, the only thing I have left to do is... Um, I need it. We have some roofing shingles that goes on the center of the roof up there. I need to go get some tar and like something, some kind of tape to cover it. So I could tar that, and then tape it, and then put the roofing shingles back on so that it doesn't have any leaks. I also, like I mentioned earlier, I want to go around and like silicone all these joints on the bottom and stuff and then maybe paint this floor. If I have time, bro. Honestly, we have so much to do over the course of the next couple of weeks, but I'm going to try to. We also need to replace this damn vent. 
Cause I don't know. Did, I, do you think a dog did that? Dog? You know what I mean? Was that like a dog or was that a ginormous ass spider trying to get out? All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I also want to go get like some like uh, one by four, one by three or something and just make like a trim board to go all the way around the bottom. Cause the bottom of this was all like weathered, uh, including like the actual floor. Uh, that, that we just threw it all away because it was completely shot. Um, so the bottom of these side panels are also kind of rotted. But I figured we'd just go grab some trim board, like kind of similar to this, and then put it across the bottom. It should cover it up, maybe a little bit thicker. I don't know. Anyhow, moving on to the next project. Oh, I forgot to mention though, before I go, I wanted to tell you guys how much money it is I have invested into this shed. Uh, this is a six by 10, it's fully, it's an all wood shed. It's got the roof shingles and all that stuff. Um, $120 is what I have into this thing. And that's to buy. Oh, actually, yeah. that <laughs> I got those plastic pallets for free. The wood that we put on the bottom uh, that cost me fifteen dollars a sheet, so I spent sixty dollars on that. The shed itself I got for free, just we had to take it down ourselves. Uh, I still need to go and buy some tar and finish that roof part. Uh, the tar and stuff. Let's say maybe I'll spend twenty or thirty bucks at Home Depot. Pretty much like ninety bucks, under a hundred dollars. I have invested in that shed. Anyhow, all right, moving on. All right, not recording much, dude. I don't have these problems in Arizona, man. My lens is fogged up. Bro, it's full blown raining. Damn it, where's my cardboard? <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Hold my umbrella for me for a second. Just hold it where it's at, where it's holding over my head so I can wipe this off. Can you guys see me? <laughs> Dude. We don't have these problems in AZ, bro. What's the deal? Yeah, it's our umbrella. It's fogging up again. Hmm. Hmm. Alright guys, we're not going to be recording much. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show you guys really quick. Because, yeah, it's raining. And it's humid as hell. So we're going through all the stuff back here. We got all the long grass and everything all weeded around this shed. We plan on moving this shed and putting it back into that corner over there so that this whole entire section right here is free for parking cars like i just figured it'd look a lot nicer and be more organized that way got all this all weed eated it was all tall grass and stuff i know it's all fogged up man i'm sorry there's not much i can do i'm trying to hold this piece of cardboard over my head while i'm freaking recording dude Ugh. i gotta get my camera in the house it's like moist this is lovely We are definitely having ourselves a rainy day schedule, man. Whew. Well, we got another load on the trailer. Uh, Braven's shutting the gate up and everything. We're going to head out, but this is all uh, basically aluminum housing stuff, like old blown transmissions and engines and stuff. All that's going to go to the scrapyard. And then just another load of metal. I don't know how much it's gonna be worth, maybe another 50 bucks, who knows, but it's just a bunch of stuff I need out of my backyard and may as well make a little bit of cash off of it rather than just throw it in the trash, right? On the road again, and Bell Boy's going with us. Let's go, Bell. All right, grand total of 100 and, what was it again? $15. 115 bucks. Nice. Not bad. Thank I wish, I need to start mounting the GoPro on my head whenever we do stuff like this, because it was, it was pretty interesting getting the stuff dude we pulled up and they're like we close in four minutes so hurry up yeah it, it was interesting for sure <laughs> all right let's get back home all right. all right back at the house man hopefully i can actually record a clip without it being all fogged up but got this area right here all cleared out and like i was trying to show you guys earlier we got the area all cleared out that's behind this truck and behind the 64 um that kind of like I just had like some engines and stuff back here that was like like just junk, you know what I'm saying? Just junk. That's what we just took to the scrapyard. So we got all that stuff moved out, got all the long grass and stuff knocked down with the weed eater, and then we put some pallets back here. So we just put car parts on. So 
Uh, this is the doors, the extra set of doors for the Bel Air. The reason why we have these is because this has all the glass door handles and everything. These are complete. So these are going to be really important whenever we do start working on that Bel Air. Because we're going to need all that stuff. And then <laughs> these are all my S10 doors, bro. Why is it that I got one S10 pickup truck, but yet for some reason I have accumulated five doors? But yeah, and then the fenders and like extra body parts, core support, all for the S10. A lot of this stuff I don't need, but it's it's one of those kind of things. You don't want to get rid of it until, um, well, I don't want to get rid of it until we start going through and doing body work and getting the truck painted and making sure that they're, I don't run into a problem where I need something. You know what I mean? For the most part, the fenders and all that stuff and the core support that we're going to use on the truck is already on the truck. And look at this, bro. This is our collection of hoods. So you have... S10, S10, uh, EG, EK, DA, EF, EF, DA, DC, DA, DC, that's a carbon fiber DC hood, uh, then a carbon fiber EP3 hood, and then Josh's EF hood, and then this is a straight clean hood for the Suburban that I need to put on eventually. 14 freaking hoods all together, man. Can you believe that? 14 freaking hoods we have in this backyard. Um, anyhow, now we are going through this storage shed. This thing had like, dude, this thing became a catch-all. Yeah, this this thing became one of those those places where you just throw stuff that you don't want to throw away, but you just don't really have anywhere to put it. Um, and then like holiday decorations and like, I don't know, we, you get into this and stuff just get, it's become a mess. So we're going through this shed, uh, loading up all the stuff we don't need anymore, trash. Dang, there's my Haro. Bro, I've had this bike since, God. I, I was 15 when I bought this bike with my very first two paychecks. It took me two paychecks working at Eats a Pizza. And I saved every single bit of it when I bought this bike. It didn't look like this. I, I did all this stuff to it. The vans, it vans, tires, vans, grips. I rewrapped the seat. And then that's actual rust. It's actually clear coated rust, bro. I sandblasted this, rusted the frame, and then clear coated it. Came out sick. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Pretty sick. That was 20 years ago I bought this bike. It was literally the very first thing that I ever purchased with my very first paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I still have it. Anyhow, yeah. Um, for the rest of tonight, we're basically just going to be doing cleaning. It's going to be all cleaning and more cleaning and. Yeah, so I'm probably going to go ahead and put the camera away for the day and pick back up with you guys tomorrow unless we do something exciting. Peace. Yeah, funny story. This got left out in the rain right now. It just dried you guys off. I think we're good. All right. Good night.